Basically, I was looking for a, for a luxury pickup truck, something that I would uh, you know use as my my uh, vehicle that I would cruise, so to speak. <laughs> Can an economy brand like Toyota deliver a luxury truck with the Tundra 1794 edition? And what's the real cost of owning one? Find out in this real owner review, along with Michael's likes, dislikes, and rating out of five stars. On the driver download, we feature real owners like Michael, and we'd love to get you on the show. Please reach out. Michael is a contractor and uses his three-quarter ton Dodge as his daily workhorse. In the Tundra, he was looking for something more upscale, a luxury truck. Luxury truck, two important words that define this vehicle. Let's start with luxury and see if the 1794 measures up. Toyota is an economy brand, but I'd say this is pretty impressive for its top of the line vehicle. The interior is Western themed and the seats are finished in perforated brown leather with suede inserts and contrast stitching. Wood style trim and brush metal are used as accents throughout. Even the mats are custom. In case you're wondering, 1794 refers to the year that a ranch in San Antonio was settled. The same ranch where Toyota now has a plant. The interior of my truck is uh, top of the line. It's uh, leather um, interior, very comfortable, uh, well made. Um, the color is spectacular. Uh, just uh, all round uh, quality interior. The only letdown is the steering wheel, which is a standard Toyota issue, and despite the wood trim, feels cheap. But it's not just finishes that define luxury, it's technology and conveniences too. So, how does the 1794 fare? The Toyota Safety Sense package comes standard. Notable features are the pre-collision system, rear cross-traffic alert, and dynamic radar cruise control. There's also navigation, a backup camera, and a power rear window. The rear seats lift up for easy cargo storage. The 1794 does good on tech and conveniences, except for the lack of a push-button start. You still have to use a key. Other than that, I would say the luxury in this luxury truck certainly punches above its weight. I like the styling of the truck. I love the, uh, I love the beefiness of the front end. Um, when I was looking for trucks, uh, the Toyota was the only one that I considered because of the styling. To add to the luxury look, the 1794 Edition's grille gets a chrome finish, making the truck look even more menacing. But this generation has been around since 2014 and is beginning to show its age. My favorite part of the exterior is this beautiful color that Toyota calls smoked mesquite. At 19 foot in length, this is a long truck. You probably noticed those custom oversized wheels and tires that Michael added. How are those working out? It uh, tends to be noisy because of the tread on my tires. They're uh, an off, they're all terrain wheel uh, tire. Um, so highway noise is, uh, is excessive, I would say. Yeah, but around town it's fine. So let's get to the truck part of luxury truck. Is the 1794 just soft luxury or is there muscle to back it up? The drivetrain is a massive 5.7 liter V8 producing 381 horsepower and 401 pound-feet of torque. That's paired with the 6-speed automatic. Rear-wheel drive is standard with 4-wheel drive as an option. Towing capacity is 8,800 pounds with the 4-wheel drive. So how does it drive? Very comfortable, very smooth. We've been up uh, to the snow and it handles the, uh, the four-wheel drive capabilities well. Uh, I have towed my boat with it and it's got plenty of power for, for towing a 25-foot towing a boat. Okay, so it's got great luxury and it's powerful as a truck. If you're looking to get one, what's the damage to your wallet? Well, the Tundra base model starts at 33575 but the 1794 edition starts about 15,000 higher at 48,775. While that's quite a blow, it's still priced aggressively against its competition. But then there's this. 
Gas mileage is not so good. Um, I'm getting 10 to 11 miles around town. Uh, I guess on a long trip, I might get somewhere around 12 to 13, but that also has uh, got probably something to do with the tires I have on. And with a 38 gallon tank, that's a heavy price to pay every time you fill up. With that said, how many stars does Michael rate the Tundra? Uh, I would say 4.5 stars out of five. It's, a, it's an all round good looking truck. It's very, very comfortable. Uh, the only drawback that I see to it is the gas mileage. Please be sure to give the video a like, take a look at our other owner reviews and subscribe to the Driver Download.